sixth problem. If the expression if the expression x minus p by x square minus 3 x plus 2 takes all real values real values for x belongs to R, then find the limits, limits for P. Let us say y is equal to x minus p by x square minus 3 x plus 2. Cross multiplication y x square minus 3 y x plus 2 y is equal to x minus p. Bring x minus p this side y x square minus 3 y x minus x plus 2 y plus p is equal to 0. y x square and minus of 3 y plus 1 of x plus 2 y plus p is equal to 0. Now, equating to the a x square plus b x plus c is equal to 0. Here, a is equal to y, b equals to minus of 3 y plus 1, c equals to 2 y plus p. Since x is real, x is real, discriminant d greater than or equal to 0. So, that means b square minus 4 a c greater than or equal to 0, minus of 3 y plus 1 whole square minus 4 times y 2 y plus p greater than or equal to 0. So, now this is 9 y square plus 6 y plus 1 minus 8 y square minus 4 y p greater than or equal to 0. So, this is now y square plus 6 y minus 4 y p plus 1 greater than or equal to 0. From these two, we can take out 2 y common. y square plus 2 of 3 minus 4 2 p of y plus 1 greater than or equal to 0. That means, this expression is also real for every x belongs to R. That means, this expression has the real values, real values and also just check the coefficient, uh, sign of the coefficient, sign of the coefficient is positive, this expression is also positive and also here for every y belongs to R. So, since y is always real and y square coefficient is also positive greater than 0, expression is also 
So, that is why once again its discriminant is also here greater than or equal to 0. It may be equal to 0 or greater than or equal to 0. So, its discriminant means again here you find out better you say capital A 1 capital B 2 into 3 minus 2 P and capital C is equal to 1. So, that means in this case roots are complex sorry complex or equal to 0 d less than or equal to 0. So, that means b square minus 4 a c less than or equal to 0. Here we can write 2 times 3 minus 2 p whole square 4 times 1 into c 1 less than or equal to 0 here 4 times 9 minus 12 p plus 4 p square minus 4 less than or equal to 0 divide by 4. So, you get 4 p square minus 12 p plus 9 minus 1 less than or equal to 0. So, 4 p square minus 12 p plus 8 less than or equal to 0. So, divide by 4, if you divide by 4 you get p square minus 3 p plus 2 less than or equal to 0. So, this simply we can write p minus 1 into p minus 2 less than or equal to 0. So, that means p is equal to 1 or 2. So, p belongs to 1 comma 2. So, here limits of expression are 1 and 2. Please subscribe our YouTube channel Sakalavija or please follow our Facebook Sakalavija and if you have any queries, the post your questions and your comments and share these videos to our friends. So, thank you one and all.